Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the sonnets and today we have sonnet number 36, which is the last of what a lot of the experts call the uh, separation sonnets or the estrangement sonnets because in the last couple we can see that there was some sort of argument between Shakespeare and the fair youth and then Shakespeare got very angry about it and yesterday he was coming around sort of to acceptance and then today in sonnet number 36 he says, let me confess that we two must be twain although our undivided loves are one. So shall those blots that do with me remain, without thy help, by me be born alone. In our two loves there is but one respect, though in our lives a separable spite, which though it alter not love's sole effect, yet doth it steal sweet hours from love's delight. I may not evermore acknowledge thee, lest my bewailed guilt should do thee shame, nor thou with public kindness honor me, unless thou take that honor from thy name. But, but do not so. I love thee in such sort as thou being mine, mine is thy good report. So this is the final breakup, and at the end of it, everybody breaks out in a chorus of, and I will always love you. Because <laughs> that's, that's sort of what it is. He's, he's saying, we, we have to be separated from each other and all of the bad stuff that happened between us is actually going to be mine to carry. The guilt, the guilt of it, the shame of it, the, you know, everything that happened in our relationship, I alone am going to be bearing the blots from here on out. And he's like, you know, we work really well together, but there's just this one thing that we can't get over and we can't get past and while it would seem to be a relatively minor thing, it is taking away from us the time that we could have spent together. So I'm not even gonna say hi to you in public anymore. And I encourage you not to say hi to me in public anymore because acknowledging each other would probably bring you shame, which would bring me guilt. So the only way for you to acknowledge me in public is if you dishonor yourself. And in the last two lines, he's like, but don't do that. Don't do that because I still love you and I want you to maintain your reputation. I want you to maintain your good name. So very much a, and I will always love you type poem. But that's the end of the estrangement or separation sonnets, but we still have a whole lot more to come that deal with the fair youth. So let's figure out where this whole relationship thing is going from here. I mean, they broke up. Are they gonna get back together again? Who knows? Anyway, come on back tomorrow for more. We'll find out. Mwah.